Some say dogs are man's best friend, but they're also tied with monkeys as the animals that's best at working for us. <laughs> From guard dogs to sniffer dogs to blind dogs, cute little puppers and doggos can do almost everything except be a barista. And some of the most remarkable of them all work for the military and police. These are the ultimate military and police dog breeds. Number 15. German Shepherd The German Shepherd is maybe the classic police dog, and they are used all over the world to assist police. They are strong, powerful dogs with exceptional intelligence, and their charismatic black and tan coats has made them famous all over the world. These dogs also have extraordinary courage and great versatility. They can run, sniff, drag, and communicate with incredible ability. In fact, they can be trained to do almost anything, and so are often used as seeing eye or assistance dogs, performing search and rescue operations, working in drug detection, as well as being used by the military and police. <laughs> This is due to how easy they are to train, and so they are adept in all of these roles. Originally, as the name suggests, they were bred as herding dogs, with the job of rounding up domestic animals. They can weigh up to 96 pounds and stand as much as 2 feet tall, making them a medium to large dog. They love to socialize and need to be active often, so plenty of walkies for this bundle of energy. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Dutch Shepherd from just over the border comes the Dutch Shepherd, and in the same way the Netherlands and Germany have a strong rivalry, these shepherd dogs from Holland are out to prove they can match their German neighbors at whatever task is at hand. They stand about the same height, although they weigh in a little lighter, at about 70 pounds. They also have a different coat, being brindle color and were bred to withstand more hardship due to the tough farming conditions in Holland when the breed was first established more than 120 years ago. The end of rural life in the Netherlands, as well as the destruction and famine during World War II, drove Dutch Shepherds to near extinction, such there was little need for herding dogs in the modern world. However, some enthusiasts maintained the breed, and although rare today, is one of the most sought after in the world for police work and military training, due to their incredible intelligence and durability. Number 13. German Short-Haired Pointer Back to Germany now to meet the German Short-Haired Pointer. This is a gun dog which was first bred during the 19th century and is happy collecting game from both land and water, and is able to carry heavy carcasses due to great strength in the jaws. These are boisterous and super friendly dogs with very low aggression and high intelligence, and they need a ton of running around. Like the Dutch Shepherd, the Second World War was a tough time for this pointer, but breeders of this dog during the war transported their favorite dogs in secret to Yugoslavia, where they were hidden until after the war to protect them from being sequestered by the German army, who needed all the good dogs they could find. After the war, they saw an increase in their popularity, and they have become an all-time favorite among the handlers working in the military and police, since this is one of the most enjoyable dogs to train and one of the best companions. Number 12. Giant Schnauzer The Germans love their working dogs, and we're back there again with the Giant Schnauzer. Maybe this is due to evidence of the very first domestic dog having been found near the Germany city of Bonn, and this would make sense seeing as what is today Germany has long been a region where humans and wolves have lived close by. And some 36,000 years ago, it seems the first domestic dog joined us in Germany. And there's been a special 
German dog bond ever since. It's pretty unlikely they would have looked anything like the giant schnauzer, however. But then this breed only arrived in the 18th century in Bavaria. These highly intelligent dogs aren't really all that giant, but they are fantastic as military and police dogs, although their big brains mean they need constant exercise and stimulation. Otherwise, they can become bored and destructive or even aggressive. Those big beards need plenty of grooming too, but otherwise they are great for difficult protection jobs and have served as part of the German Air Force. Recently, a giant schnauzer named Brock was on special detail protecting President Donald Trump during his state visit to Germany. A high honor indeed for this loyal schnauzer. Number 11. Boxer Developed in Bavaria in the 19th century, boxers are a well-known breed, since they make some of the best pets due to their fantastic temperament and friendliness with children, mixed with their great loyalty and protective instincts. Although they are docile, they have a powerful bite and strong body, so make very useful attack dogs if trained that way. Oh, in fact, in their early days, they had an important role in the German military, serving not only as attack dogs, but messengers, pack carriers, and guard dogs during the First World War. After reprising this role in the Second World War, German soldiers took their canine companions home, and soon they would become known all over the world as excellent show dogs as well as working dogs. A pair of boxer dogs named Punch and Judy were awarded the animal equivalent of the Victoria Cross, the highest military honor in Great Britain. After saving the lives of two British officers serving in Palestine in 1946, as a terrorist with a machine gun opened fire on them at their home. The dogs took bullet wounds, but both miraculously survived and were later decorated with the highest honor. Number 10. Airedale Terrier the Airedale Terrier was first bred in the Airedale area of Yorkshire in the 19th century. The breed was bred by working-class people of the area who required a terrier dog, which was strong and agile, but which also was small enough to enter the holes of the quarry it was chasing, which was usually water rats. Fighting a water rat in its own home takes some serious courage, and this breed does not lack in that department. They were excellent at chasing and capturing the rats on land and in water. Although too big to go to ground, so ferrets were used to chase the rats from the holes so the Airedales could pursue them. Helping the local poor free themselves of vermin was not their only job, as they became well known for their use in poaching, as the working classes illegally fed themselves on the abundant game available on aristocratic land. The dogs were recognized for their versatility and intelligence, and when the first war dog breeding program was launched in 1900, Airedales were included, and furthermore, became Scotland's first police dogs in 1910, when Glasgow chose the breed to join the force there. Number 9. Doberman The Doberman, named after the man who first bred the dog back in Germany in the 1890s, is more of a specialist than some of the other dogs on this list. A very popular dog in police forces around the world, these extremely loyal, alert, and intelligent dogs are also extremely athletic, and it is mainly this last quality which gives them their primary role in the police. Dobermans are extremely athletic and intelligent dogs, so no task is out of their league. Although sometimes deployed as sniffer dogs, the Doberman is best at chasing down fleeing criminals and bringing them to the ground by biting the arm. Their original role was as a guard dog, and so the visibly muscular body and dark coat was designed to be intimidating to potential trespassers. While early Dobermans were notorious for their fearless aggression and ferocious temperament, they have been bred to have calmer natures in recent years, and so are much more adept as pets that previously, when they were almost exclusively used as guard dogs or working dogs. They were adopted as the official dog of the U.S. Marine Corps in World War II, and have become an incredibly popular breed, ranked as the 12th most popular dog in the world, appearing in many films and television shows too. Number 8. Rottweiler 
Unlike many of the dogs on this list, Rottweilers are an ancient breed that is still with us today. They were first bred by the Romans, and like so many things the Romans did, their quality has ensured they are still standing in the 21st century. They were used by the Roman army to drive the cattle they took with them on campaign, and after AD 74, the Romans began to conquer parts of southern Germany and took the dogs with them. A couple of centuries later, the Romans were driven out, but the Rottweilers remained and became an important part of German life, being named after the southern German town of Rottweil, once occupied by the Romans. For many centuries, they were used as butcher's dogs, pulling meat carts. But since the decline of this lifestyle, they have been repurposed as police dogs, becoming the number one police dog in Germany prior to World War I. These dogs love to work and are highly intelligent, as well as possessing awesome strength. For this reason, these dogs need careful and assured training, as an out-of-control Rottweiler is a serious danger. But when properly trained, they are among the best guard dogs and most faithful companions in the world. Number 7. Bloodhound The Bloodhound is known in France, its native land, as the Chien de Saint-Hubert. This is due to these dogs being kept by the monks at Saint-Hubert Monastery. After being originally introduced to France by the Norse Vikings, who became known as the Normans. At around 1000 AD, these dogs became known for their special ability as sleuth hounds or bloodhounds. That is that they have an incredible ability to smell and track human blood. These dogs are so important to these guys. They have an incredible sense of smell, so Tony should have this in the bag. Beginning as a hunting dog that would lead the other dogs in the pack to the quarry, they were also deployed in the Middle Ages as man trailers and were used to track illegal border crossings, criminals, and just about anyone that the uh, authorities might want to find. They became popular in England following the Norman invasion of 1066, but their numbers declined as society became more settled and the wild boar, its specialty, became extinct there. The dog had few further uses and went into a dramatic population decline from which it has only slightly recovered, maintained by enthusiasts for the breed. Extinct in France by the 20th century, they were reimported and bred once more as the Saint Hubert dogs. They also made their way to the USA, where they were used to track runaway slaves. And it is in the US where bloodhounds have been most often used by the police force for tracking criminals in more recent times. Times, with many incredible success stories securing their reputation as one of the greatest police dogs of all. Number 6. Belgian Malinois The Belgian Malinois is a shepherd dog originally bred in the town of Mechelen. These dogs are energetic and playful, as well as very adapted for work and complex tasks such as those required by the police. They are similar to the German short-haired pointer and can even be mistaken for this breed. In fact, the Belgian Malinois are becoming more popular in canine units than the pointers due to their exceptional personalities and ability to perform similar tasks such as bomb and drug sniffing. These dogs are used in Hong Kong, Canada, Australia, the US, and many European countries for military purposes. In fact, they are second in popularity only to German Shepherds in the US Army, and are also favored by the Secret Service, particularly when it comes to guarding 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue in 2014. Two guard dogs at the White House apprehended a man who had broken through the perimeter fence at the White House. Also, they have recently been deployed by rangers at South Africa. Africa's Kruger Park, a huge nature reserve, and have been described as game changers in the fight against poachers, with one dog known as Killer responsible for more than 100 arrests. Number 5. Muddlehound the Muddlehound is an Indian working dog which is descended from ancient breeds brought to the Muddle region from Arabia and Afghanistan. 
This dog is known for its immense stamina, and it can run and run where other dogs would practically collapse with exhaustion. For this reason, it's not the easiest pet unless you have the time and space to give this dog the huge amount of exercise it needs to stay happy and healthy. As a working dog, however, it is fantastically well-equipped for not only hunting, but surveillance and border patrol duties. Due to its capabilities, the Muddle has now been recruited for trials by the Indian Army, and if successful, will become an official military dog. Is instrumental in training the dogs for the Indian Armed Forces. There are now 750 families in the region who are breeding these dogs, and all will be hoping for a successful trial so they can capitalize on the army demand for the finest pedigree examples. Famous through their native land, they are also known as the Caravan Hound or the Pashmi and they have featured on Indian postage stamps, a mark of the strong national affection for their local pooch. Number 4. Bouvier des Flandres The Bouvier des Flandres is a charismatic-looking dog with a shaggy black coat which hangs down over the eyes. They have long been used for farm work, both pulling and herding, especially of cows. In fact, Bouvier in French means cowherd, and so this dog is the cowherd of Flanders, another breed of old stock these were only bred by monks, this time at the Turduinian Monastery, once in Flanders but now incorporated into the Netherlands. They were bred from imported Irish wolfhounds and Scottish deerhounds, and were soon recognized for their fantastic temperament and huge strength, perfectly happy pulling carts that would normally be pulled by much larger animals. Like the other dogs from this region, the World Wars had a devastating effect on them, and the breed almost went extinct during World War I. Nowadays, the breed is resurgent, and they are popular both as pets and as police dogs, due to their hard work, strength, and versatile nature. Even President Ronald Reagan owned one, named Lucky. Number 3. Beagle The Beagle is far from the typical police dog and is definitely an outlier on this list. Much better known for their amusing and slightly clumsy nature, these flappy-eared dogs are some of the most lovable breeds and ideal for smaller homes or families with young children. They are reasonably intelligent, although not to the level of most dogs on this list, and they were likely first brought to England, now considered their native land by the Normans. They have been popular in England since Elizabethan times, and remain so to this day. But they are also a valuable part of the police dog squad due to their specialist abilities when it comes to smell. Beagles have one of the most powerful noses in the canine world and they are used to sniff out illegal substances in airports and at border controls. In the US alone, they have been responsible for uncovering 180,000 pounds of illegal imported food and customs just by sniffing out the goods. Top dog and one of the cutest on this list. Number 2. Labrador Labradors are one of the most recognizable and popular dogs in the world. In fact, they are the most popular dog in many countries, including the United States. They are loved for their extremely friendly nature, as well as their high intelligence. This has led to this former gun dog to become the most common dog used in therapy and as assistance to the blind or disabled. These dogs can be trained to put someone in the recovery position, cover their master with a blanket, and dial a special emergency phone. First bred in the 19th century in England, these dogs love to swim in cold water, and they also love to eat. In fact, obesity can be a problem as they have something of a lazy side. This didn't stop the US Army recruiting them in vast numbers for the Vietnam War. Unlike other militaries at the time, the US had no sentimental attachment to their war dogs, and the thousands who were sent, mainly Labradors and German Shepherds, were on a one-way mission. Those that survived the war were simply euthanized by departing troops or left behind. These incredible animals, once considered as expendable equipment, deserve some recognition for their heroics. Number 1. English Cocker Spaniel the English Cocker Spaniel is a gun dog which specializes in hunting woodcock. 
which is where it gets its name. Spaniels go back as a breed at least 500 years in England, and this breed is the most successful ever in the prestigious dog show Crofts, where it has won Best in Show seven times between 1928 and 2009. These compassionate, kind, and intelligent dogs are some of the best family pets, and they love to be around people as much as possible. It can seem like these dogs never stop wagging their tails, and they are known as Mary Cockers due to their happy nature. After many years as primarily a pet dog, Cockers are now once again being put to work, and are considered to be capable hunting dogs. Furthermore, English Cockers have been selected by Cuban authorities as the prime dog for sniffing out drugs at Cuban airports, where you can only imagine they would have their work cut out. Diesel's nose is about to get a checkup, not for drugs, for firearms. One of the greatest and most popular dogs of all, the English Cocker Spaniel. Which dog on this list was your favorite breed? Have you any experience working with dogs in your job? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!